Today we're going to start the revision for the exam. The topic for today is about Pearson Sky Square Test. Kindly take note. Pearson Sky Square Test, the result is only valid if the n is larger than 20 and there is no expected value of less than 5. Okay, let's have a, let's go through one example here. So the example here is about obesity and diabetes mellitus. Whether over, overweight people are more likely to develop diabetes mellitus compared to normal weight people. Okay. So the research questions at hand are Are overweight respondents more likely to develop diabetes mellitus compared to normal weight respondents? If it, if it is true, then we expect a higher rate of diabetes mellitus among the overweight respondents compared to the normal weight respondents. Okay. So the chi-square test is basically testing whether the rate difference of 32% versus 7% is significant or not. Null hypothesis assumes that there is no association between overweight and diabetes mellitus, as though being overweight has no effect on the risk of developing diabetes. If being overweight has no effect on developing by diabetes mellitus, then the not rate of diabetes mellitus for both overweight and normal weight should be the same. This is the expected value as calculated in the expected table. And the statistical test conducted is to decide whether or not to reject the null hypothesis. So if the observed table is significantly different than the expected table, then the null hypothesis would be rejected. So whenever we give you a question of chi-square, you always have to calculate the expected value. Why do you need to calculate the expected value? Because we want to decide whether to reject or not to reject the null hypothesis. So null hypothesis stated that there is no difference of diabetes mellitus rate between the overweight group and the normal weight group. Therefore, expected value is the value if there is no difference of diabetes mellitus rate between the overweight and normal weight group. So what does this mean? If there is no difference of diabetes mellitus rate between the two groups, then the diabetes mellitus rate is similar between the two groups. Okay. So if there is no difference, then it should be similar. So in the real scenario, as we have in the observed table, you can see that in reality, the rate of diabetes mellitus among the overweight is 32%. The rate of diabetes mellitus among the normal weight is 7%. Okay. So if there is no difference between the overweight and normal weight people, we expect their rate to be the same. So for their rate to be the same, then it is based on the total percentage at the bottom there. So you can see here. So you can see here that The rate here, total percentage is 19.5%. So, if there is no difference between overweight and normal weight, they are both also at 19.5%. So, based on this 19.5%, you they calculate to the expected value. So, as you can recall, the expected value is calculated by, for, for example, we take the cell A here, The expected value is 39 times 100 divided by 200. Okay. And the same goes on for the rest. So how different is the observed value compared to the expected value? To get the difference, we deduct the expected value from the observed value. So observed minus expected. Sometimes we, neg we get negative, sometimes we get positive. So, to nullify the negative value, we square it. That's chi-square. 
However, the difference is very much dependent on the value itself. Okay, so we divide by expected value. As in this formula. So therefore, the larger the difference between the rate of the disease among the exposed compared to the rate of the disease among the non-exposed, the larger would be the value of the chi-square. The larger the value of the chi-square, the smaller is the value of P, therefore more significant. So in this example, we have the observed and expected value. So the observed value was 32, expected value is 90.5. So 32 minus 90.5 squared divided by 90.5. So here you get 12.5. You square it, you get uh, 165.25. So that one will be divided by 90.5. You get 8.0128. Okay. Since this one, the difference are the same. And the expected value are the same. So you get 8.0128 twice. And for this one, it is, again, 12.5 squared. Uh, then you divide it by the 80.6. That one, you get 1.94. Okay. So, you have these two values, 1.94. So, the whole thing becomes 19.9076. So, 19.9076, you already know is very much larger than 3.84. So, therefore, you already know that it is uh, significant. And the null hypothesis is but let's look at the more detailed one okay so you're looking at the table here the table 3 so you can see the value of 19.91 okay, is larger than 10.83 so you have here down here at the bottom 10.83 sorry and therefore uh, it is very much uh, more significant than expected. So the if the 10.83 the the p value is 0 0.001. Since we have 19.91, therefore the p value is smaller than 0 0.001. Okay. So conclusion: there is a significant difference of diabetes mellitus rate between overweight and normal weight patient. The overweight respondents has a significantly Higher rate of diabetes mellitus of 50% compared to the normal rate respondents at 7%. So for your exam, please memorize the critical values of 3.84 for degree of freedom of 1 and 5.99 for degree of freedom of 3. In summary, okay, here we have the scenario, the hypothesis, where we believe the overweight has a higher risk of developing diabetes mellitus compared to those who are normal weight. Therefore, Overweight has a higher rate of diabetes mellitus, 32%, compared to the normal weight of 7%. Since we are testing for the null hypothesis, we have to come up with the null hypothesis. A null hypothesis could be either no difference of diabetes mellitus rate between overweight and normal weight, or there is no association between being overweight and the risk of developing diabetes mellitus. The suitable statistical test here is Pearson chi-square. Why? Because the total sample was 200 and there was no expected value of less than 5. So, again, we show you the calculation okay, where we get the chi-square value of 19.9076 and this will get as a p-value of less than 0 0.001. Okay. And because of that, the null hypothesis is rejected because the p-value is smaller than 0 0.05. And the conclusion is, there is a significant difference of the M rate between overweight and normal weight respondents. The overweight respondents have significantly higher rate of the M compared to normal weight respondents. Okay, please take note, when you, you write the conclusion, you should say the word significant, that there is a significant difference of diabetes mellitus rate. And you have to show the direction. Here you have the overall respondents as significantly higher rate of DM of 32% compared to the normal rate respondents.